So it's Monday. I didn't really want to make any more videos ever again. <laughs> but then um, it's become so obnoxiously clear to me that if I don't get my vibration raised higher, I really am a failure to my mission here on earth, which is trying to raise the damn frequency. But what happens when you're like on the floor? <laughs> you're not doing your job, right? You're not doing your job. So I'm going to have to just use my channel as my journal, talk it out, walk it out, and um, try to up my vibration. So um, it's, it always seemed like a great, a great title for um, like an article or something like how to raise your um, I was gonna say vibration but how to increase your appreciation when you feel none maybe I did write this one time <laughs> it's so bright um, how do you start feeling appreciation and gratitude and love and joyfulness in your life when it's like, I don't really feel it right now. I'm not feeling it. It's not doing it for me. Life can suck a, do you know what I mean? How do you start getting those good vibes flowing? How do you start feeling appreciation when you, feel, when you have none? So for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brainstorm here because this is actually me right now. Um, this is, you know, I need to make a conscious effort, attempt, whatever, intention to um, start to feel better. And I am starting to feel better a little bit, like I can feel it, like I've moved up, you know? But it's like, if I don't keep on doing more, I just, I'm just gonna fall back down and I'm not gonna be able to maintain my frequency because I've been like kind of lower. Um, and lower for me is probably pretty good for somebody else. Let me just make that note. Um, but lower for me is still lower for me and I don't like it. I know where I could be. So, um, I mean, still I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but um, I think, let me think here. So I know it's really important to um, think about things you're grateful for and write down your gratitude. So I could truly get my appreciation, my Grateful Goddess Appreciation Journal out every morning. It used to be something that I would do at night, but then I turned old lady and at night I don't want, I, I'm done. It's like seven o'clock, I'm done. I'm going to bed at eight o'clock, leave me alone. <laughs> So I think I should probably make that a morning thing now because I get up, I'm, I'm getting more of a morning person than a night person. Um, so I think I should write in my gratitude journal just five things that I appreciate or tried to touch me. And now that is hard when your heart space is like closed for business, right? The love drought, um, that's hard like, but there's got to be something, right? There's got, there's always something. I always have my kids. I'm always appreciative of them and having them around me. And even just now when I went upstairs and I saw our littlest puppy dog um, jump up on the bed and snuggle right into Ebear, um, I thought, oh my gosh, the dogs love her so much. And it made me like feel warm for a second thinking about how much the dogs love her because she allows them to love her like me um i don't allow the dogs to love me very much a little bit and i'm like get away from me <laughs> like okay good 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 puppy dog go like you know i am mean, slightly allergic to them a tiny bit and um so i don't cuddle them and where she like embraces them and they're fully comfortable like loving her up because she allows it. And I appreciated that because uh, it's something that I don't always have, never have had, <laughs> and probably won't ever have, but like I still appreciate it. So that could go, I'd have to condense that for my little book, but just five things, five things that I appreciate. I should think about these. I should 
get those on repeat in my head and then just start looking for things to appreciate in any room, wherever I am. I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that, I'm glad I have this. And try to do it from a place that it's not lack mentality. Like, I'm glad I have celery this week, right? That's not what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like really actually like be thankful. And maybe for me, it's just like, I'm, I'm thankful that I have food this week. And don't get like complaining about, is it the right type of food? Is it blah, 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 blah. Like just be thankful for the damn food. Okay, um, so I think that's like one big thing for me, getting back on the gratitude train with the journaling and stuff. And then um, another thing that I know would help raise my vibration so very much is probably live streaming more. But um, who am I live streaming to? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like um, these apps, I'd have to restart um, from the bottom and I wouldn't have an audience really. I don't really have an audience here. I go live, nobody shows up. Like, it's fine, but like, um, I know from previous experience, live streaming um, helps increase my vibration. And so does just talking. So that's why I'm just making all these damn videos, whether or not anybody watches or not, because I have to. I literally have to. If I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm just only bringing in a little bit of energy. But as soon as I start talking and thinking and feeling and wanting to manifest, then I'm like, all of a sudden, like it's coming in and it feels really good. And then my vibration is higher. So um, whether or not they are received or whatever, like I have to just keep making videos because if I don't keep making videos, I die. <laughs> make videos or die right so it's like bring in the energy or just why don't you just lay on the damn floor yeah all right so that would be another good thing for me um aside from the journaling and feeling appreciation just keep on doing this maybe think about doing it more and um maybe getting back into live streaming at some point um just because it feels good right like a lot of, speaking of on the floor my dog's on <laughs> you're silly <laughs> um so i need to, another thing is just to find humor in everything um even the bad stuff like oh that fell apart <laughs> right like just laugh at the 3d crumble which um Asiel reminded me about over the weekend which that's another thing like bringing the people that um that, if, that you feel good around having them in your life. Um, reconnecting with Asiel, I never, I never really talked about too, too much on this channel, but like reconnecting with an old friend that had not been in my life for a while really helped me get up off the floor, literally. Um, just because, you know, there are certain people that have um, certain energetic properties that you, you crave and, um, or need or want to connect with or just you know they're just part of you and um, having that back I feel a lot better too so wait what was I saying oh yeah 3d crumble <laughs> the, whenever I'm like seeing stuff that's just like ridiculous like this house falling apart or or like my celery juice that I work so freaking hard for um, like this morning, I cut it. There's like all these like little white, I don't know, are they bugs? Are they, what is all over the celery that I literally like, it struggled me to get and I have. And so I just had to laugh and wash it off and be like, well, do you want to drink it or not? Well, I guess I want to drink it. So soak it in baking soda. <clears throat> what are they? Probably just little bugs. How big of a deal is that? <laughs> like, wherever I need to infuse the divine sense of humor, I need to lay it on thick, okay? Thick with two C's, get the funny ha-ha over everything because laughing, is that my fourth one? I've, I lost track. Laughing increases my vibration. So between appreciating, um, making dumb videos, laughing at the 3D crumble, and um, whatever the hell else I just said I don't remember now. See, this is why I make videos. I'm gonna have to go back 
in probably two hours when my vibration dips low again. I mean, it's like this. I just want to maintain. I just want to maintain. And um, watch this again and be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to laugh. I'm supposed to pull cards. I'm supposed to appreciate things. Oh, forgot about the gratitude journal. That's right, I'm supposed to do that. And then I would say the last thing for me, like right off the bat, that I can do anytime, in any mood, anywhere, that helps me um, raise my vibration and feel appreciation is music. Music. Music with the earbuds, headphones, whatever. It just sounds so good. I'm thankful for being able to hear it. And um, there I have a playlist that it's like, I should listen to it every day because it just puts me in a good mood. It helps raise my vibration. Sometimes I use music to open up my heart space like I did last night. Um, I took my, uh, what cards were they? The Magic of Flowers, took them upstairs with me. I had questions, I wanted to know things. I played piano music. Piano in the background, it's a playlist on Spotify. It is so beautiful one to either sleep to or relax to, but if you're actually doing like any type of emotional healing, there's something about piano music to me that makes me open up and usually cry. Like I usually open up and cry when I hear piano music, I don't know why. But um, anyways, I definitely pulled the very first card last night was the heart space. I pulled Rose. It's really, really time to pry this bitch open. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to put it like that but like just stay open already and like a lot of times I have to visualize something sad to do it but like and, and listen to sad music but sure enough then I open up a little bit more so that's kind of weird that I have to do that but um when your heart has been closed or it's not functioning or you know that heart chakra is just stunted and blocked and clogged up for whatever reason love drought you gotta do what you gotta do to open yeah open that bitch up <laughs> all right so the very 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 last thing that i can do is um just repeat affirmations like a psycho and um start to uh, just get into that more positive mindset again i've done it before i can do it again um really come on now girl come on sadie marie you know this so this is the life loves you cards by louise hay and robert holden it's 52 card deck and um let's just pull like a couple affirmations do you have to chew your bone right now right behind me boomer it must be good haha ha, funny ha 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 <laughs> He's not gonna quit. Thank you for grinding the bone for the duration of this video. <laughs> All right, see what I mean? Like it doesn't take much to get under my nerves. <laughs> so I commit to being more present in my life. I commit to being more present in my life. If something seems to be missing in your life, maybe what's missing is you. Complete this sentence. One way I can be more present in my life is, hmm. One way I can be more present in my life is stay the F out of fantasy land. That's one way. Quit daydreaming all the damn time as escapism. Um, just really like right here, right now, take a deep breath. Really look at my ugly mug right now and be present with me, right? Really notice the colors, the textures, the sounds, the feelings, the taste in the air, like whatever. Just take time to be fully present now, now, now. All right, I commit to being more present in my life. All right, here we go. This one flipped over, that's funny. I love being me. I love being me. Oh, this is good. Way to call me out. Stop trying to be so normal. Stop trying to be so normal. Ugh. 
be more of the real you. Show the world who you are. So I totally had to get over this little leap. Um, everyone likes Sadie Doll Natural Me when she's positive, not negative. But what if I am negative right now? It's like, how about you just be the way you are, you know? But this isn't about so much that. Yeah, it is a little bit about that. But this is like, hey, do you feel like being weird? Hey, do you feel like being weird? Hey, do you feel like just acting silly and laughing for no reason? Then why don't you? Because that's who you are. So I think everyone tries to be so normalized and, you know, nobody wants to stick out. Nobody wants to dance in the grocery store aisle. Like, how about you just love being you and do that? So I commit to being more present in my life. I love being me. Even if, right? Even if this, even if that. Shut the, shut up. Just love being you. Okay, last one. Before I get too rowdy that I like start smashing. <laughs> I'm not rowdy. I'm not rowdy. Here we go. Last one. No peeking, Sadie. No peeking. <laughs> okay, here we go. I am open and receptive to love. Well, that's perfect because that's what I'm trying to do. I am open and receptive to love. So this has kind of taken us full circle back to the dog story, um, how my daughter just allows the dogs to love her and then she loves them. And it's like, how do you guys love each other so much? So life is always trying to love you, but you need to be open to see it. I'm just gonna read that for myself again. Life is always trying to love you, but you need to be open to see it. Complete this sentence. I could make it easier for life to love me by not being such a bitch. <laughs> I could make it easier for life to love me. I could make it easier for life to love me by, hmm, here's a good idea, loving it first. I get what I give. So if I could love life first, then it would be easier for life to love me. If I could love myself more, then it will be easier for life to love me. I will let it in more. I will think I'm worthy of it. Um, it will make sense to me, right? Because I'm giving love, so I will be receiving love. When my heart is open and it's flowing out, then it can flow in, right? So I love these cards. I am open and receptive to love. I love being me and I commit to being more present in my life and commit and make intentions to finding things to appreciate and be grateful for and that raise my vibration and frequency. See why I have to make these videos every day. Every day. Monday through Friday. <laughs> I don't exist on the weekends. <laughs> I check out. Well, anyways, if you watched all this, I hope that you did get another little notch up on the vibrational scale and you feel good with me. And uh, you go outside and you look at the sky and you appreciate. Appreciate, appreciate. So, so much love to you. <laughs> you ready to go outside? Hurry up. <laughs> hey, hurry up. Hey, hurry up.
Come on. Come here. Come here. Hey, vicious beast. Can you please go to the bathroom? Come on. Interesting day. 